Hello and welcome. I'm here to talk to you about Hurricane Milton. This is just going to be a quick video. I wanted to let everybody know that as of 5.30 this afternoon, the winds in Hurricane Milton are sustained at 180 miles an hour and there are gusts that are much higher. They're predicting this to be catastrophic. It has grown in intensity quite rapidly. As of right now, they have shut down schools in the area where my sister and my niece live, which would be Lakeland and Winter Haven, which are both roughly 45 minutes uh, east of Tampa. So they've shut down the schools so that they can get them ready for people that are evacuating the coast for the storm. Now, the airport in Tampa is closing tomorrow morning, uh, Tuesday, October 8th, and the airport in Orlando, in, in a, Orlando International Airport, MCO, is closing on Wednesday, October 9th, in preparation for the storm. Landfall, landfall, as I said, is expected on Wednesday, October 9th, and it is expected to be a Category 3 when it makes landfall. The mayor of Tampa has instructed people to get out as quickly as possible, stating <clears throat> that they cannot ensure their safety if they stay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they have 500, between 500 and 600 ambulances right now that are in active evacuation mode. They are evacuating hospitalized people and nursing homes to get them out of the path of the storm surge, which is predicted to be between 10 and 12 feet. I hope everybody in the area stays safe. Uh, I find this really sad due to the fact that they've barely gotten past Helene. They haven't gotten over Helene. They've barely gotten past her for this one to come in. So uh, please keep these people in your thoughts as well as the ones in Tennessee and North Carolina. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like my channel. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out. Thank you.